Can I go to the sleepover? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Welcome, everybody, to the News Graphics Scott County Sports Show. We are here at Great Crossing High School at the Bird's Nest. We're behind me. Soccer practice taking place for the 11th region semifinal. And there is probably not a lot of people in the state of Kentucky that thought that the Warhawks would be practicing on this Tuesday afternoon. They went and got the win that was heard around the state. Beat one of the top teams in the country, if you believe the Max Preps rankings. Undefeated previously, the Madison Central Indians. Great Crossing went down there on Monday night. Beat them 3-2 in double overtime. A hat trick by Aiden Bryan. Just a great bounce back performance for a group that was really beleaguered in the 5-0 loss to Frankfurt in the district final last week. Let's see what the team and coach Nick Maxwell had to say about one of the great upsets this year in any sport in Kentucky high school sports. School this morning, I only go to a class in the morning at ECS, and I go to work. And we walked into work and apparently it had been everywhere already, the news. So they all talked about it there and then we went to the high school and uh, I didn't get to hear but apparently Maxwell had a speech over the intercom about how good we all did. I was told last night it was the first time they'd been down at home. Um, and so I was like, oh, well, we'll take that. So uh, scoring first was huge. I think it gave us the mentality. Um, you know, if we go down 2-0 without that goal, um, I think it's very challenging and difficult to come back. You know, it all depends on where that mindset was. Um, but, uh, you know, we went up one. Uh, they, they answered quickly with two, bang, bang. Uh, but Honestly, the boys came off in a great mood, very positive at halftime, a lot of energy, both from the, the guys who've been on the field and the bench. And um, I think everyone still had hope. You know, they still believed they could do it. Um, holding a, a player like Gavin O'Shea um, pretty, pretty much in check um, and having a couple of opportunities really, really lit the fire for them. And they rolled with it. You know, let me be honest, we all got there and like, we were prepared to lose. Definitely. We were all wanting to just go ahead and go home, but because uh, of like last game it was 8-0 and uh, they're undefeated, I didn't think anything of that. And uh, we went out there and once it got to about like 18 minutes left and it was still 0-0, I was like, you know, maybe we got this. And I feel like after then we all just, we just stepped up and played our hardest. Going into the game, I was thinking it would be like very defensive, just kind of, you know, don't let them score as much. Just played very defensive that game. We we scored that uh, scored that PK to tie it up, and uh, I was thinking then PKs. I, I didn't think either one of us would score an OT because our job was just get it out, and uh, we ended up putting one away at the end. Uh, we've kind of put everything behind us, and we're just stepping up now. We just cleared the ball. Ethan Payne uh, won it off of one of the defenders and dropped it in, and I crossed it over to Bell. And Bell took a couple dribbles, beat two players, and then played it back in just right to my feet. And it's a good ball, and just shot it. My heart probably just dropped. Like I turned around, and everyone's sprinting up, sprinting to me at the field, and it was, it was a good moment. Yeah, you know, Aiden's come up through the through the ranks. Uh, freshman, sophomore year, we saw a lot of a lot of potential in him. Last year, he he really stepped up and kind of took charge of the midfield for us. Um, and this year has been no different. You know, he's been that motor that makes things go a lot of times. And, you know, we've got a lot of talent around him. But uh, when he's on, the rest of the team usually follows suit. And, um, he, he really stepped up last night. He had the energy. You know, it's funny, before the game, he said, Coach, we're going to roll him tonight. And I said, okay, hey, let's do it, man. And little did I know, man, he, he, he meant it. And he stepped up and, and he left everything he had on that field last night. Uh, we need him to re-energize today uh, to be ready for tomorrow, but uh, against Catholic. But um, you know, I think he, he he's mentally ready for the for the big stage. So, yes, and honestly, I was a little worried. I think it was the the first overtime we um, we had a foul that very easily could have been a PK um, and possibly you know the game. Uh, luckily, the the ref uh, uh, called it outside the box where the contact started, and we ran with it. Um, but yeah, it could have. We were that, especially the second overtime. Race and I talked like, look, let's you know, we're gonna add a, another midfielder uh, to kind of clog it up even more, and let's let's get to PKs. And uh, we made a great defensive stop. Uh, ball went to Aiden, who started the started the movement out to uh, Ethan Bell, 
who turned, got the ball off quickly, and found Aiden with a beautiful first touch and a great finish. Um, and that sealed the deal for us. And, well, the rest, you know, you saw the bench running off. So I feel like we've had certain games where we've really showed our potential and then games where we've just not done very great. And last night we were all around just fantastic. Defense was incredible. And, you know, Lexi Catholic presents its own issues. Um, they're a fast, dynamic team. But, uh, honestly, outside of, what, eight, nine minutes of that game, it's really not much different. We shut down and... Uh, luckily, we're a little me more mentally strong um, and I think mentally prepared for, for the battle. So, That's a wrap for this week's News Graphic Sports Show. Again, congratulations to Great Crossing on a great season and a great performance. One of the big upsets you're ever going to see. Volleyball and football playoffs still to come, so the fall season is not over. But next week, we're going to shift gears. Georgetown College men's basketball. Do the Tigers have what it takes to get back in the national title picture? Until next time, I'm Cal. See you on the sideline.